coming up next from Osme Perfumery here in Miami. An exclusive, exclusive, I should say, Pegasus exclusive from Parfums de Marley. It's not even released yet to the boutiques, but Maurice has it here at Osme and I'm gonna review it next, so stay tuned. So welcome back everybody, this is Joel the Nose, and I'm going to now give my review of Pegasus, exclusive, just released from Parfums de Marly. Uh, it's been out, reviewed a little bit here and there, but it just is now being released out into the marketplace, uh, into the boutique stores. As I just said, I was at Osme earlier today, and uh, it just came into their store yesterday. So. This is I'm one of the first people, and as Maurice told me and Osme, they were one of the first stores to get it. It hasn't even been technically released to uh, officially to boutiques, so we're getting a kind of nice jump on this fragrance. Uh, anyways, having said that, uh, again, as a lot of you know, Pegasus Exclusive is a flanker to Pegasus, the original Parfums de Marly, and uh, it just came out. <laughs> like I said, not officially been released, but it's coming out right now. And how to describe this, I would say it's it's an oriental woody fragrance, uh, definitely a masculine fragrance, although like most of their fragrances, it could be unisex. I think this could be pulled off by some women. Uh, and it is uh, retail about $375 for 125 ml bottle. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's typical Parfums de Marly bottle. I'll put a picture down here of the bottle and uh, you can see you know it got a, again the classic top the classic just weighty metal top and the bottle is actually kind of a grayish color which is interesting because normally you see their colors a lot of black this is gray I, I like it it's a little bit different now at the top the notes <clears throat> you have are bergamot pink pepper cardamom and heliotrope at the heart you have jasmine lavender bitter almond and geranium and at the base, you have vanilla, amber, sandalwood, natural oud, and gayak wood. Now, a lot of those notes are similar, as would be expected with the original Pegasus. Um, I think some differences, the main differences for me in this are the cardamom and kind of pink pepper and the oud and gayak wood. So right off the bat, when you spray it, and I've still got it on my skin, I've been wearing this all day. Um, it's a beautiful scent. It is my my opinion because of course it's gonna be you got to compare the two because it's a flanker from the original. This is a darker version of the original. Um, if you liked Pegasus the original, I think you're gonna like this one because of course it's just it's a I think a little bit dirtier, darker version. Think of it as Pegasus as like the first child, like the older son who did everything right, and then you got the other uh, the Pegasus exclusive is a little bit like the younger son is like a little bit more rambunctious, a little dirtier, gets in a little trouble. Uh, I think this has got a little bit of attitude, which I like. Um, and the one thing that's clear, both fragrances, and especially in this one, that bitter almond stands out. So if you don't like almond, or sp specifically that kind of bitter almond, I know some people talk about it being kind of synthetic smelling. I mean, all fragrances nowadays, unless you go to a natural fragrance company, are synthetic. So. But it is a little bit, uh, the bitter almond does stand out. It is different. Uh, it, for me, it, it, it does take a little getting used to. It's not something that's naturally, like, grab, that I naturally gravitate towards to, to when I'm smelling something. So uh, it is an acquired taste for me. So if you like, again, if you like the original with that bitter almond, this one has it again, and it's everything's amped up a little bit. So to me, this is kind of like an amped up version of Pegasus and a darker, dirtier version. Um, you're going to get, again, at the top, you get, definitely comes across as you get that citrus from the bergamot, you get the spiciness from the cardamom. Uh, it's, I think, uh, again, the original Pegasus is lighter, I think a little bit fresher. This is darker and a little bit spicier. Then you go right into that kind of middle with that bitter almond and that lavender and that um, the, the jasmine, which to me gives it almost kind of a little bit of a barbershop fougere uh, vibe with those elements there. And then, and then when, you, when it settles in after a couple hours into the base, you, the, the, the amber and the oud and the gayak wood, again, it's not pungent oud. 
It's what's typical, I think, in most fragrances today that have oud, since a lot do. It's kind of like an Americanized, I would say, or Westernized version of oud, which is, I think, more palatable for the Western market. It's like a toned-down oud. So very, very nice, very well done, very well blended, I think. Um, and uh, as far as the projection and sillage, to me, the sillage is a little bit less on this than the original Pegasus. And again, uh, just knowing the chemistry of perfumes when I make my own, when you have darker materials uh, and more base materials like gaiac, gaiac wood and oud and amber, those sit more heavy and they they're you know they have less volatility, so therefore they don't you know, you know kind of uh, I guess extend out as much or they don't have as much projection. But I do get a little more more longevity. And again, that's just chemistry because the darker materials in the bases obviously stay on your skin a little bit longer. So you're going to get eight plus hours. I've gotten eight plus hours on this. So I think like all parfums to Marley, you know, top notch quality there. So there you have it. That's my review. If you've tried it, I'd love to hear what you think. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you can think about subscribing. Uh, you just, you know, click on the button. You can ring the bell for notifications and uh, let me hear what you think about this and what you hear. Think about if you tried Pegasus Exclusive. This is Joel the Nose, and I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you guys for watching.